Writing full reviews is difficult when there's not much time to spare. This school semester is my last, so obviously it's some bullshit. I probably won't be able to review games to the extent I want, so in the meantime, I'll be making mini Maple Leaf reviews. These'll be short reviews of short games. The games will typically be very cheap or even free, and I won't be showing up on camera to save time. With that said, let's get to my mini review of Fingerbones. Fingerbones was released on Steam in 2014 by David Szymanski. Oh yeah, that guy. It's a free psychological horror game that lasts less than a half hour. Or a bit more if you get distracted by your livestream chat. Yeah, all the gameplay footage is from the livestream, what do you want? I uninstalled this game the second I was finished playing it. But honestly, you could just watch the trailer to get the idea, considering the fact that the trailer gives away most of the game. Oh, come on, you just showed the finger bones. What's the matter with you? I thought that was supposed to be a shocking reveal. The game reminds you at startup that it's psychological horror. That's right, don't be fooled by the fact that it looks like a Minecraft mod. This is serious and frightening. Also, no saves, you have to complete it in one sitting, you fucking casual. The game has you walking around a building collecting notes. Mm, yeah, you fucking know it. This game is set to be the horror equivalent of Gone Home. Well, actually, since the dude we play as is returning here after being gone for a while, and the story it tells would work better in a different medium, I guess it kind of is. Seriously, this game is just a creepypasta with a game element that doesn't need to exist. The idea is that you're finding notes left lying around this bunker. They were written by a divorced man who had his daughter for the weekend when the apocalypse broke out. Fortunately, he was a fucking psycho who just so happened to have a survival bunker. So he and his daughter lived there for a bit before he became super edgy and evil now that there's no society to hold him back. You never actually see any people, though, because, you know, the appearance of a Lego man might ruin the mood this game is going for. But honestly, if you want to know how the story goes, just watch a 20-minute playthrough video. This isn't worth downloading, it should just be a creepypasta. I can easily imagine rewriting the notes and tweaking just a few things to make this work as a short story. I mean, it wouldn't be a great short story, but I could see it getting a couple hundred upvotes on our no sleep at least. If anything, games like this piss me off because if I was any good at coding, I can promise you I would never waste my talents making a note collecting game. If you have any suggestions for short games for me to make short videos about, leave a comment. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.